All right, guys, welcome back to the road to SSL in 3v3. Today is episode number eight, and we're going to be LeBron's James today. So thank you so much to Colson for this recommendation. Like I said, drop a comment of your recommendation and profile picture, and I'll be sure to grab the most like ones. But for this one, you can see there's only 18 likes, but it was two minutes ago. I just couldn't couldn't turn away from this one. It's so awesome. And what's even funnier is this is actually Danny's alt account name. So it works out perfectly. Let's jump right into it and try to make this photo. All right, so we got LeBron James and I already actually see one sticking out either this one or this one. I think this one's pretty good contrast. So I'm gonna grab this photo here and drop it into Photoshop. If you're thinking like me, I think you know where I'm gonna go with this, but if you're not, just stay tuned. Uh, it'll get good. Were, were you thinking this is what I was gonna do? <laughs> no? Oh, okay, no problem. Maybe I'll make it a little more like orange colored, just like slightly. And we're going to make it, make it look a little more real here. All right. Okay. We're getting, we're getting somewhere. This is working. Oh my God. It's perfect. One last finishing touch though. Ah, perfect. <laughs> there we go. There's a the finishing touch. All right. Let's jump into Rocket League. All right. There we have it. LeBron's James. So in the last episode, in episode number seven, we, we ended up in 1372 champion three division three. So I'm expecting in this episode, if we win every game, we'll probably be in cha uh, grand champion one, uh, maybe even halfway up grand champion one. Uh, if we do lose, though, then we'll start to, to climb much slower. Because right now, we're getting about 30 points a game. So if we continue that, we could actually make SSL in about, like, five or six episodes, which is kind of crazy. But uh, hopefully, we get more educational content from losing a game, which I'm sure will happen. So uh, let's get into the next, next game. If you are enjoying the series, by the way, there is a playlist if you haven't missed any of the ep episodes in the past. And if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any future ones, be sure to subscribe. And now let's jump into the games and see how it goes. <laughs> So I, I think for today's episode, as we're jumping into higher and higher ranks, uh, every game's every uh, video has kind of been a completely different vibe as far as like teammates and opponents go. I think I want to focus a little bit on uh, boost management and decisions uh, regarding like when when to go for boost and stuff, when not to. Um, so I'm gonna try and keep an eye on that uh, throughout this episode and just uh, keep uh, keep tabs on you know why I'm making certain decisions. I am um, since I'm still last right here. I'm gonna wait for the shot first and grab this boost on my way around. Should be one of my teammates in net, maybe making clear. Since it goes to the left, I'm gonna sit behind and be the new third. Kind of take the, the took the boost. Didn't really mean to or want to, but uh, ended up happening because of the touch I made. Let's see, if my teammate wants to make a touch. Decent. Is he gonna follow it? He's trying. I don't want to double commit with him just because he is trying for that that follow up. It's the right idea, just pretty slow play. I gotta watch out for the demos behind as well. Bit of a fake. Make sure I pop it up with the first touch. My teammate's on the the wall right here, so he might make a shot. Good try. Try to get ready for his touch middle in case he did make one. Oh, okay, we're good. I'm just gonna go just in case my teammate doesn't turn. Good, the teammate could have pushed out. Definitely should have pushed out now, it might be open. Good shot to the bottom right. Good save though. Gotta be a little bit careful because I am last here. I see this ball spill out pretty nicely for me in the uh, the side. And now right here, I'm, all I'm doing is focusing on pads and midfield. Don't need to go all the way back. Still lots of time. I can turn in with the boost I just got off the, off the pads. Pop it off the backboard. Oh, good try. Gotta be careful the demo on the last man here. This guy's chasing me, which is not the best decision because the ball's not on target. If he had, it was a decent idea. If he, uh, you know, keeps in mind that uh, the guy could have shot on target. The second he realizes he's not shooting on target though, um, he should instead go for the ball redirect. I took both boosts there because there was actually a player uh, on the other team pushing up in the same direction. Ah, it's not the great flip. That actually might be on target. Close. Good shot. That's on me though. I didn't get a good flick. Um, and my other teammate was forward, so I need to make sure I flick that a little bit higher. It's a little bit of an awkward ball though, because my teammate made a bad, uh, bad first touch. But hey, we'll uh, we'll recover this. Play a little more aggressive. This guy's gonna shoot towards target. Hopefully, my teammate's back. He is not back, and it's in. <laughs> so yeah, my teammate never definitely needs to be behind on the uh, the goal line there. He's kind of just sitting around in no man's land doing turns. He got the back boost, but he probably didn't need it, and uh, he wasn't able to get back. So we got a bit, got a bit, got a bit of work in the last uh, second half of this game uh, to get back in this. I'm trying to get back left here and see what happens off my teammate's touch. Okay, my teammate's lack of a touch, I mean. Put it off the backboard. It's a good shot. That is last man, though. I gotta be a little bit careful. Up over two. I'll play a little bit more ball chasing now. My teammates are obviously not uh, up to par here. Both players. Try bump on me. He didn't go for the uh, the touch. I went for an air dribble bump, but after that first pop, that's all it takes. 
Um, so far, like my teammates have made some pretty bizarre misses, but overall they are kind of rotating pretty well. Just uh, the one thing I would say is that I just need to be more ready for uh, opportunities to uh, chase a little harder, since uh, my teammates don't really want to be the ones to uh, to uh, pressure. So decent touch. Should be a shot for my teammate. See if we can score it. Nice job. So right there, I'm just trying to keep pressure in the corner. I see the one guy misses right here, uh, and that immediately tells me I can turn around and try to pop the ball over. And uh, since Rocky was the last player, um, I can just pop that off the backboard, and hopefully my teammates are ready, and they are for the first time there off the uh, offense. We don't have a lot of uh, offense. We do have quite a few shots, but overall our pressure's kind of fizzled out pretty quickly from touches like these where they kind of just go right back to the opponents. I talked about this a lot in the last few episodes too, that you need to make sure you keep uh, consistent pressure. <laughs> Triple commit, no problem. Triple the chance of success. There we go. Pop it over Mania. Didn't make up a good touch. My teammate can probably follow this up. My teammate's already pushing up for the next touch, so I'm going to be a little bit ready for that. Good double. Could be a shot. Good block, though. Good touch. My teammate could try to make a shoot shot here. Oh. Try to shoot that on the right side, the left side, I mean. Let's see if Soraki makes a touch. He does. Pop over one. Both players miss. Go for the low 50 50. Let's see if Siphon wants to make a touch here. Once again, just grabbing a few pads. I know I don't really need to go for the back corner because there's a chance that Shock could want target. My teammates wouldn't be ready. But uh, we're in overtime, so three saves. Not doing not doing a lot in this game. I mean, we are at the, the top of the scoreboard, but I feel like, you know, if we really wanted to, we could probably uh, be a little more aggressive. It's a good try off the corner. Maybe he's going to have a clear. It's a good block. Whoa, that pinch almost went in. That was crazy. That could have been really dangerous. Good try. Trocky pops off the sidewall. He should probably follow it up. He ends up missing, which actually is good for the team because um, none of our teammates expect that. There we go. Pop up the top corner, and there's a good shot. So I just waited for the, the sidewall bounce um, off this 50-50. This first pop was to get around that player on the corner. And he, he ends up making a bad touch in middle, and I just go for the top top right corner shot. Obviously, that's pretty like demanding. But I even if you don't want to go for that like high-risk, high-reward shot, you could probably let the ball bounce a few more times in mid and uh, give yourself a little more opportunity to get more angles. Because since that last man is, you know, against a 1v3 or like a, a maybe even a, a 1v2, he's got a lot of options he has to cover. So you can keep that in mind. You got to kind of put yourself in the perspective of the opponent sometimes and what they have to deal with and how you would react if you were in their, uh, their shoes. And sort of play around that and what you don't like to have happen against you when you're in that situation. But not, not too bad of a game. Obviously, I had to do a little bit more than I... Than I, I should have probably but at the same time I didn't really play perfectly obviously no one does but uh, we got 23 points and we're almost in 1400 already so let's jump into the next game so so far in that first game I didn't really talk about boost management too much I was talking about like grabbing boost in a specific situation but overall like you can see when I'm waiting for possessions or for uh, positions on the ball I'm kind of holding on my boost until I want to go for the ball so you can see like right here I'm holding on my boost until I really need to and that's why I still have 100 I'm able to just wait for my teammates to fill the positioning Okay, decent touch, but Raz is probably going to make it clear here. I can probably beat this guy because he's uh, challenging uh, awkwardly underneath the ball. So I just go for an immediate pop, and the other guy went for the back corner, so we get a free goal there. Raz made a pretty high pop, and Emo's like in an awkward position like that, like I was talking about. Um, and, and because of the fact that I just held on my boost and waited for my opportunity to strike, I could use a lot of boost and still have the confidence to go because my recovery would actually be decent if I still have 60 boost in the tank after that aerial. So it's all about, uh, you know, preemptively waiting for your opportunities like right here use a bit of boost to get into position but then i can go for the shot try to shoot at top corner almost get the shot doesn't matter if it's on target or not i mean you'd like to have the goal obviously but um in that situation um pop this out as well uh in that situation still getting pressure is good because it forces a lot of players possibly to double commit triple commit um and you got to think about like slowly dwindling down your opponent's uh possession or uh resources it's a good bump Try and go for the double here. Close. Nice finish. So I ended up popping. This is actually a new thing that people have been doing a lot more. Is when they hit the ball, they actually throw it towards the floor to bounce it back up to themselves. Wasn't able to get the shot, but uh, lawyer ended up copying, uh, you know, copying that goal <laughs> off that bad backboard read. But uh, it was it was tough with 100 boost in that situation. It wasn't the best pop I got, but that is a good a good strategy if you are getting used to mechanics and stuff. Going for those touches where you uh, this could be good. Oh, good shot. Um. Where you go for that that pop off the floor and then it bounces back up to you. It's definitely uh, definitely going to catch some people off guard, like you saw. 
But good try from Crispy and Lawyer to cover as many options as possible. The bottom right was a perfect shot from Boston. So this game is a lot about game feel. I am last man right here, so I gotta be a little careful. Now, I, oh, whoops, side flips. That's okay though. My teammate's going. I'm under the ball so I can pop it towards the. Oh, okay, it's in. <laughs> I was gonna say pop it towards the right side and they'll probably get a clear, and there's no one because uh, Boston was underneath the ball. And both Raz and Emo uh, were going for the back corner. I like that Emo tried to cover it by going across. Uh, but Raz probably was the position in the position to go back and get the, the final defense there. Uh, but he decided to go for boost instead. As I said, you can grab a few pads. Like, I don't even need to grab that back corner boost. I can probably grab a few pads and get back faster. Say so if the lawyer can make a touch. Good, good double by Raz, though. Uh, my teammate kind of didn't react on the backboard in time. I think if we were going to get the save here, Lawyer needs to grab that boost pad he just got and then use a boost. But he ended up turning to the left. You see right there the last second he turns to the left. I'm not sure why he would do that because the guy's going towards target. You need to make sure you turn into towards the goal um, to get that save. But Lawyer's actually playing pretty well. It's Crispy who's not really contributed too much, at least points-wise. See if Lawyer can get a 50-50. Oh, my team is not ready for that. Okay, I thought he was going to turn in and make a touch. Crispy's a little bit slow. Uh, that's okay, though. But I got to keep that in mind now that I know that Crispy's going to be kind of like playing a little bit slow. Like right here, he could have turned, but he just like waited super, super long um, for that bounce off the sidewall. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. Oh, okay. We're good. <laughs> a little scary though. Okay, that's a good pop. I don't think I can get this. Hopefully. Okay. I just don't <laughs> I thought Crispy was going to jump up earlier. So I backed off. And then, okay, he double jumped with me and he backed off. That's actually smart. I mean, he definitely uh, thought that I was going to have this. Ended up popping towards the goal. It's okay, though. We'll get some goals back. Got to play a little bit faster once again. And uh, cover our teammates a little more. It's a bit of a funny situation. I think that definitely should have been Christie's ball. I just uh, wasn't sure if he was going to jump because he's been a little bit slow to challenge. See if I can finish this. It's a little bit awkward. Teammate went for it. Hopefully, Christie can shoot. Nice play. I ended up throwing my teammate Lawyer off, but I don't think he was going to have a free ball there. Because I think this guy would have made a touch. And maybe not actually. He was moving a little bit hot. But, you know, Chrissy ends up recovering our, uh, our mistakes from earlier. And he's playing a little more aggressive, which is good. Okay, I don't need to get the back corner. I should leave it for my teammate. It's a good, a decent touch. Oh, my teammate's pushed up. Okay, that was a little dangerous. Emo might get a 50-50 here. That could be poor. Let's see if Chrissy can go for the corner boost. Pop it middle, maybe. The lawyer want it. I'll make sure I at least beat that one guy. It wasn't like the greatest pass because there's no really there's no real scoring opportunities. This could be a good chance. Good try from Crispy. Like the 50-50 from Lawyer too. Last man might might make a bad touch. I'm panicking a little bit. Might make a pop too. Ready for the pinch in case it happens, which it does. Make sure I get in the way of that touch. And then I can follow this up as well before the other guy has a touch. That's all the players. Hopefully my teammate can get there. Good try. He's a little bit slow though. He definitely should have been there before the bounce. Teammates are panicking a lot. So I just got to make sure I cover uh, good good pops and stuff. Okay, Raz doesn't make the best touch. Decent. Pop us on the backboard. I don't have a good shot opportunity. So this should be a shot opportunity. <laughs> Never mind. I think Christian could have waited for the bounce there. Honestly, the last man uh, was not in a good position. A good clear. Could be tough. I don't have a lot of boost. I want to use a little bit to get around the ball first. Make it clear up again. Raz is going to probably make a bad touch or miss. And we're now into overtime. So a bit of an awkward game. But uh, so far, we're holding on. Trying to get a pinch here. Ends up working a little bit. Oh my goodness. That could have been really bad. Teammate pre-jumped in a, in a weird spot. Oh my. Use the wave dash to get a little bit of burst of speed. They're not really going to expect that. Okay, my teammate bumped me. This could be really dangerous. Austin pops it out. Crispy should be going for this. It's decent. Emo's probably going to have a touch, though. Both players go. Crispy should be able to stay with this and get a dribble. Get him to hold on to the ball here. I'm not going to go for this because he's just going to stay with it. And he's got a good position that most of the time is going to bounce out for um, uh, his teammates rather than uh, my team. Okay, not a great position. It's going to be on target, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's last man, so I know I can just flick that. He shouldn't be challenging his last man like that. He needs to stall for time. And that's two overtimes this game. It's getting a little tight. I don't know if I'm doing enough or I'm doing too much or what, but so far we've had to, you know, stretch a little bit to get that final uh, goal for the overtimes. But I think so far it's just been a lot of uh, lack of confidence uh, on aerials and stuff or just being too impatient with uh, goal opportunities for our team. But we end up squeaking out the win, so it works out. 
Uh, LeBron's James, you've done it again. We got 22 points, and we're, I think this should be a division up at least. Yeah, so we're probably going to make it just into Grand Champion 1 if we win this last game. But it's been a bit bit rough, so hopefully we can uh, clutch up this last match. Right, so we got the last game. We got uh, another 1400 on my team. Actually, we're all 1400, so they're teamed up uh, with a few lower level players. This might be a, a little bit of an easier game. I'm going to try and bump this guy that's in the way here. I got 12 boosts, so I want to make sure I don't waste it. Teammate's on the wall, too. He's going to bump me. That's going to be an open goal. They missed! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's in. Okay. <laughs> I, I should have just left because I knew my teammate wasn't going to trust me to catch that ball. I didn't like that he was trying to clear the ball because we're both pretty low boost on the back end. And I'm getting bumped by Wan Wanathon, too. Thought you were in net. My bad. It's all good, man. Just use your eyes. You might see that I'm not. So I got 61 boost. Just waiting for the clear. Ends up popping it pretty far. Teammate's already jumping up for in a position that could be really bad. Good save, though. The teammate probably could have waited for the next touch because he's got a possession off the ceiling. But a lot of players this rank... Oh my goodness. A lot of players this rank don't really expect the, uh, the ceiling touches and stuff. So you got to be ready for those in case they happen. This could be expired Mango's chance. Good try. Should be a shot towards target. Hopefully that's in. I think my teammate almost tried to touch that ball even though it was going to the back corner. So we end up getting a shot there because this guy right here, he ends up popping it and one guy's following and then Simpsta is actually in midfield. Not ready for the shot. Good challenge. Good play. Spider-Man goes moving up as new third man. See if he goes for the shot. Good try and good finish. So I was saying good try by the opponents. They end up making a miss off the backboard. Ends up working out. But yeah, regarding the first goal, um, in my situation, I probably should have got off that ball because I knew my teammate wasn't going to react to me being there. I was going to make a soft touch down and then keep a dribble so I keep the possession. Um, in 3v3, it's a little bit harder. Um, it's a little bit harder to... Uh, gauge what your teammates are going to do especially in solo queue so at this point like at this rank i do recommend like if you are at this rank find people that you play with really well like if you want to solo queue solo queue for a bit and find people that you really jam like jam with and just play with them invite them to party up um and see how you do you know you might make some new friends doesn't always have to be solo queue i think uh at, at, at some point to rank up really like fast or at least a little more effectively you really do need to find people that you communicate well with uh because it'll help you win games a lot easier like, if we solo queue into uh, an SSL tournament right now, and there's a team of uh, a team of players who are in a, a party party chat together, it's going to be a lot harder to play against them when they're communicating their intentions way before you can even see them. So, uh, that's definitely really helpful to get, you know, a good lead on, on the games. Bit of an awkward touch there from Simsta. I think his teammate was doing a squishy save and actually would have had it there. There we go. Hopefully I can grab the mid boost. Didn't grab it, but Simsta's going, so I'm just trying to get a bump on him. Since we did commit, we gotta be a little bit careful. See if Expire Man can go up the backboard. Good fake by Osiris. Um, I think what ended up happening was 1SM was trying to make a, a challenge in midfield. Actually kind of made Expired Mango wait for his challenge. Because he probably could have jumped off the wall a little bit earlier and got in the way of that. But 1SM making the, the attempt at the challenge actually makes Expired Mango wait. Sort of like what happened with the aerial in the second game. Uh, where... Oh, good, good touch. Uh, where I ended up faking off, uh, faking out Crispy when he was uh, going to go for that aerial challenge. If I just didn't go, knowing that he was going to go, uh, it probably would have been better for us. But it's hard to do without communication, like I said. So Let's make a, to a shot towards target, see what happens. Two players are committing to it. I want to say I'm trying to go for it, even though it's on target. I talked about this a lot. If you've got a situation where the ball is already going towards target and there's a lot of pressure and there's not like a clear chance that you're just going to get the next touch to secure the goal, let the opponents make a touch because you're better to no way oh my goodness what is that shot that was pretty good uh you're better just to let the opponents make a touch and play the defense because then you can play to the next touch and play ahead of the game you know play a game of chess not checkers it's also a decent touch too oh i've side flipped oops definitely was ready for it though i knew he was gonna make a touch just not not sure where it was gonna go decent touch my teammate ended up leaving though it could have been a pass from one sm to, to mango there not a great touch. Should be a finish here. Good save, though. It's a decent touch as well. You could have honestly maybe let the opponents make a touch, too. Because uh, their touch might have just passed it out to uh, to us as well. Make a pretty solid shot towards target. Good save once again. See if Expire Mango keeps the pressure. He does. I really like the decision to keep the, the ball popped up to the uh, to the backboard instead. Try to slot this to the right side. At least add some pressure. To make them clear to the corner. And now Wanisem can keep the ball because of that. I'm going to go behind. Wait for the clear. Good block again. We're keeping really good pressure here. The teammates are actually doing a really good job of uh, confusing the opponents. Make a shot towards target again. Good save. Once again, just causing a lot of pressure. 
They can't get out of their, their end because of these touches, which is the intention here. So I am last man, but I know they're not really quite ready for it. So once again, I'm going to pop it up off the backboard. Good save once again. There was a good chance that that could have went in. Uh, so I went for it. And this could be an open goal, though, because uh, my teammates committed in a weird spot. Not too bad, though. We got 20 seconds, two goals uh, lead, so we should be fine. I think one, one SM, yeah, ended up missing, and the bump from uh, Osiris on Mango ends up just leaving it open for him. It's all good, though. All we gotta do is hold this 20 seconds. We don't really need a goal, so we're not trying to force the issue. We're just gonna play uh, the situation as we see it. Gotta be a little bit careful of this midfield touch. I'm gonna wait till the guy forces in the, the touch. I know I have uh, control of that. Okay, I, have, I know I have control of that, uh, that play there. So I'm just gonna wait for the last second until he challenges um, to play it away like this. See, I waited for Simpson to push up and that'll play out the rest of the time just from rolling up the wall there. So that'll secure the last win. And honestly, not a bad game. Um, a few mistakes from me and, and our teammates, but overall we played pretty well and rotated well together. So that'll be a solid last win. Let's see where we at. We end up at, we should get Grand Champion 1 here, I think. Uh, see if the promotion comes through. There it is, Grand Champion 1. So probably Division 1. Yep, there we go. Not too bad. We're already in the fourth highest rank of the game. So SSL is really, really getting close. I know this series is a lot slower. I mean, a lot quicker than the first series. But that's to be expected if we're winning every game. So hopefully in the future games, we do get a few tougher uh, opponents. And uh, they'll probably sneak in a win here and there. And we'll end up climbing a little bit slower. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I didn't talk about the boost management too much. I tried to. I think I did a decent job of explaining what I was trying to talk about. But until next time, have a great day. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.